let's solve this problem. This problem, you'll notice that the bases are not the same. Yeah. The base is two and four. Right. So I need to turn this one into a base two. Mm -hmm. And the way to do that is to use the change of base formula. So that equals, instead of the log of x over the log of four, which you can do, I could also do the log base two of x over the log base two of four. Right. I could choose any base that I want. So that's what I'm going to do. And when I do that, this just equals two. two. So my resultant, or my next step is this, minus uh, one half, I'll write it in front, one half log base two of x equals one. And now I can take this one half and I could bring it up to the front, up to the top, yeah. with that property. And at the same time, I could also do my division because of the subtraction. So the log base 2 of x plus 1 all over the square root of x. And that's because one. this is basically root of x because x to the power of half is yep. root. Yeah, that's what, that's what root x, square root of x is, the, is x. Oh, oh you're grouping it all together because basically it's the same thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm grouping it together so now I can yeah, do this. Okay. 2 to the 1, I'm using the equivalence, equals x plus 1 all over root x. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, right, you can be right. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by root x. So 2 root x equals x plus 1. Now I'm going to square, square both, both sides. sides. So I've got 4x equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. Subtract, right up here, subtract 4x from both sides because I've got a quadratic now. So it's x squared minus 2x plus 1. And now... Um, x minus 1 squared, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which means x equals 1. And let's check to make sure that works. Plug in 1 here and here. I get log base 2 of 2 minus log base 4 of 1. That's 1 minus 0 equals 1. Minus 0, which equals 1. So check it out. So that works. So your answer is right there.